Big fish catches, alligators attacking me, and fishing 10 pound bass ponds, this video can't get any better. Me and my boy Chance decided to go out on our new 10 rig, and we ended up hooking some absolute monsters. All right, boys, we're at a special place today. Got the boy Chance in the back, and we're gonna be throwing some big baits for some big bass today. This is a place that we've never been to before. We're really excited about. Got the old tin rig out today. We'll fill you in on that here in an episode shortly. But our first day out on this little John boat, I think we're gonna end up catching some big ones today. I'm about to go over what I'm gonna be starting off with, what I'm gonna be throwing, and see if we can catch some of these big bass. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel i'd appreciate it all right boys here is one of the baits that i want to start off with is actually a bluegill it's called the wake gill so it's like a wake bait and a swim bait combined i think we can get some really big ones on this today i have this paired up on my mock crush you guys can check out the mock rods and reels on mock and i got my kicking their bass tvx lose combo that we're going to be throwing today as well um we'll tie up a different bait on there here in a moment if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass tvx lose combos you can check them out kicking their bass.com it'll be linked down below you want to do like a little tournament today chance like big fish big fish what you thinking like biggest fish today we got a scale with us boys i'm just going to kind of randomly fan cast guys until he's ready tying up back there i wonder how deep it is out here so this wake gill, guys, is supposed to be fished if I had to assume. Say I threw it out there and I just slightly reel this thing. And I don't know if you guys can tell how that bait is just surfacing right there, just like a wake bait. Look how good that looks, bro. See that? That's realistically how we should work it. But I think we can reel this down a little quicker and hit the tip of the grass and probably get slammed and work it more like a swim bait. So we're just going to vary our retrieve with this, throw it around for a little bit. If we don't get any bites, we'll switch up to a different bait. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. We got the scale with us today. Maybe we'll catch us another double digit. What was that? <laughs> you trying to kill me? What was that? Was that a stump? No. Or did you almost fall? <laughs> I, I didn't know if you hooked it, if you fell in, or we just hit a massive stump. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, maybe we should have got a wider John boat. Yeah. Just maybe, maybe a little wider. All right, boys. We got to go to the original chatter donk here. It's just a regular white and chartreuse chatter bait tied on with a uni knot. And then I'm about to show you what I'm going to put on the back of here. We're just going to go with a standard white fluke. Pretty cut and simple. We're going to have to be careful with it because there's a lot of grass up here shallow. This is something we might be able to fan cast out there in the middle. When you get up shallow, we might need to put us on a frog or something. That's what Chance is going to throw for a little bit. I might as well try the old chatter donk. Look at this grass in this pond. It definitely doesn't look fresh though, Chance. It looks a little older. Yeah. It's got like that brown tint to it. Don't really have that bright green. That grass is gonna fool me a lot to the, like reel into it. It feels like one's loading up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> first one. Yeah, the first one. I didn't think it was going to be that small, but hey, we'll get it somewhere, dude. He freaking yanked on me right there. A little tiny guy. That's a start, though. Just started somewhere. He grabbed me around the edge of that little grass patch right where he should have been. If you looked at this on Google Maps, I know you probably saw this side, it's like so flat and it kind of drops off probably more right out there where the ripples at. That's what it looked like at least. Oh, that's a big one, Chance. That's a big one. Monster. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got the net, I got the net. I can't tell how big he is. If I have him hooked weird, he's boiling like crazy, dude. He feels large, but I could be just pulling him through the grass. Oh no, he's stuck. <gasps> oh gosh! Chance! 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 Get him in the net, boy! Yes, Let's go! Cool. Oh, <laughs> dude, 
Let's go, baby. Oh my God, that's a monster, dude. Hey. I think it has big fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a tank. Look how healthy too. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, I don't know. She's high six, low high seven. six to seven. Let's see. We, she is bundled up a little weird. Oh, the hook just oh dude. Oh yeah, boys. There we go, baby. Look at that tank. Definitely a six pounder. Yeah, she ain't seven, but she's fat. Dude, look at that. Look at that belly on a summer bass, boy. Dude. All right, boys. That's a freaking giant. Well, Chance, two fish in, we found out what we needed to know. I was getting a little nervous when I hooked that little one. I was like, <laughs> don't tell me this is all we're going to catch. Flop her on the scale, though. You want to take a guess? I'm thinking 7.3. I'm thinking 6.13. Oh, my God. It almost is 7. 6.87. Almost a 7-pounder, boys. To start off the video, our first fish was a pretty small one. And then we just hooked this freaking brute, man. Look at how short that bass is to be a dang seven pounder. Yeah. Wow. Lucky sevens, baby. Maybe we'll get us a 10 pounder. Thank you so much for biting, baby. Get you back in the water all healthy. And get back in there and see if we can get us another. See if Chance can get him a double digit. There she goes. What a beast. What a freaking beast, the chatter donk. Back at it again. Something about that bait, dude. I don't know what it is about the chatter donk, but it catches giants. Or it could have been the lucky kicking combo, boys. I don't know what it could have been, but let's keep on casting and see what else we can catch. Messed up my fluke a little bit. Go ahead and put us a new one on. You know how I was just saying when we looked at Google Maps, guys, there's like a big flat where we just started fishing where I caught the first fish. And then once you go off a little bit to where that ripple was, the grass starts to spread out a good bit. There's still some isolated patches and grass beneath the surface. But it's an ever so slight drop off. That's exactly where that is. Oh, no, 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 a big one. No, no you don't. No, you don't. No way, Chance. How big? I didn't even think it's yours, but... I mean, that's a good one, dude. Bring him on this side. Bring him on this side. Oh, dude, that's still a nice one. Let's go, dude. A solid three-pounder. Let's go, baby. Oh, man, they're on that drop-off, Chance. Let me see what you got. Let's see what you got. Yes, sir. Good job, brother. Heck yeah. Chance on board. Let's go, baby. What you think? Good two, three-quarters? Yeah, I'd say two, three-quarters pushing three. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth, Chance. You're already hooking one. That's a good first fish to start off. We should have brought the mag with us. We could always get it. I'm just worried that it won't go through that grass, you know? So guys, we got an eight inch mag draft in the car. We actually got two of them. And um, it's one of those things that this grass is so thick that I just don't know if we could get it through it. If we had the six, maybe? Yeah, like my baby mag that I had. Yeah, it's just like the eight inch is a little hefty, but I don't know. Um, me <laughs> i think the most fun part about today's video isn't even the big fish is about us like falling almost about to fall off the boat every time not too used to this john boat life guys we're still we're still getting uh used to it so guys i've been asking you all this pretty much every video if you guys were out at this beautiful pond today pretty shallow water heavy grass like i showed you guys earlier what would you guys be throwing what would be your bait of choice to throw here to catch some of these big fish i would like to know in the comment section down below drop them down maybe we can come back out here and try out some of your suggestions mine has to be a chatter donk chances bait of choice is a fluke which i agree with there's just so much grass it's a great bait to throw but let me know what you guys would throw i'm, I'm curious I can't believe we don't know how to bite on one of these trees. I know there's a lot of good grass, but still. Oh, Chance, I got slammed, dude. My whole rod tip just bent over. Like, he just slapped it. He didn't eat it. It feels a lot deeper out there, too. Yeah, you gotta work it slow. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work it slow. Yeah. It's funny, Chance, because 
I was thinking when you were working it, I didn't want to be like that, that like bossy person. I was like, maybe try to slow it down just ever so that's slightly in first cast. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Bro, that fish bit like he was five pounds, didn't he? Maybe we on to something with that. <laughs> you see that though? Just aggressive pops and long pauses. All right, guys, going up all the way into this back water. We haven't fished this yet. You know, we kind of nosed up to it earlier when I caught that first fish. But we haven't gone up in here yet. And he's got a popping pickle tied on. I just got a standard popping frog on the kicking combo. Mine's just a standard white frog. But we're going to go up in here and kind of cast around. It might surprise us. Get a crazy little frog bite. Ended up catching one on that first cast I threw on the pickle. So might be able to get something going here. After fishing the frogs up shallow for about 30 minutes, we decided to go back out towards the isolated grass. I ended up getting one more bite, but then things turned to the worst. A big storm was rolling in, so we had to end up taking the john boat out, but I decided to head out to these big fish ponds that we hit in the last video. So make sure you stay tuned because I also fished the new 10 pounder pond later on in this episode. We're at the pond where Connor ended up catching some giants to see if we can catch some of them today. Go ahead and roll that flashback. Oh my gosh, I got a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just hammered it. Mm, there we go. Come on, boys. Get him in, get him in. Mm, mm. Oh my gosh. I got him. That's another giant. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's a unit of a fish. Here she goes. He ended up catching some toads right here. We are out at this pond today. And then after this, we're actually gonna go to the 10 pounder pond where I caught a double digit a few days ago to see if we can catch a couple more giants. The jumbo fishing was a lot of fun. We caught a seven pounder, but these ponds have even bigger fish and we're gonna get after it right now. I have two rods with me. I got my kicking their bass TBX lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. Got a chatter donk on there. That's what we caught the giant on, on the John boat. And then we have a mock crush right here with a Texas rig lizard. But we're going to go ahead and get after you guys and see if we can catch some of these giants. Stay tuned because we're going to be going out to that 10 pounder pond. So let's go ahead and get after it here, see what we can catch and get on the move to catch some double digit bass. All right, let's slow down with the Texas rig. Couldn't get any bites on that chatter donk. It is a hot day, 98 degrees. And one thing about this spot right here is this very shallow water. So you got this tree line, very shallow water, and there's a bunch of lay downs and just sticks here on the bottom. You can feel them if you're throwing a bottom bait like I'm throwing now. There is a ton of cover and structure on this bank. And I believe there's some fish here. We just might have to slow down with this lizard to get it done. And there we go. I'm filling some of the lay downs right there. Kind of scattered out on this little flat. It's a good tree right there. I mean, look how quick that sank, guys. It's only like two foot deep here if that. But there's some giants down there and we're gonna try to catch them. There's a tree right there, guys. There should be a fish on it bringing it right over those branches right there. Our key is to kind of bring this bait over the branches, let it pause for a minute, bring it over another branch, let it fall, let it pause. And that's usually when that fish is gonna eat it. Ooh, got slammed. Here we go, boys. Here we go, he's running. Oh, he's running so hard, I can't catch up with him. Oh, he's just running right at me. Look at this. He's literally running right at the bank. And he came off. Wow, that was a nice little boil too. Never got a good feeling on that fish. I can, I mean, I couldn't tell you if that was a one pounder or a dang five pounder. I can tell you the bite was insane. But that was one of the weirdest hook set to fights of my life, man. That fish went all the way from that point that I just threw out all the way to the bank right here without stopping. I couldn't even catch up with him. This is a seven five to one gear ratio reel. I have no idea. That fish was zooming, boys. That was a great bite though. Just couldn't get a good hook in him. All I felt was one hard thump. He was taking off with it. 
Well, that's a good sign. We got one bite. Let's just be patient. There's got to be some more fish down there. Cast it right in the same spot. There might be another one. That was a good dang bite. Ooh. I don't know what I just hit out there. Feels like a little drop off. Oh my God. Did you guys see my rod, dude? Oh my gosh. What just happened? That was one of the craziest bites of my dang career. Please bite it again. Oh my gosh, I had to have been a monster. My whole rod just flung sideways. <laughs> no. What is happening, man? We might have just found a little drop off out there with some tanks on it. We gotta hook one of these fish. They're biting a little weird today. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I wanna throw this back in there. I'll just say maybe I grabbed the lizard, but I don't know. I just got two massive bites on this thing. There he is. Oh no, I hooked something. It's like a tree. That ain't good. Let's see if we can walk down here and get down. Gosh dang it, man. We might have to pop this off, sadly. Yep. We'll have to go back in the car in a second, but we're gonna take that lizard and cast it out there so we can get that fish to bite again. Dude, I want that fish to bite me again. <laughs> that one slap was ridiculous. Cannot believe he didn't eat it. I mean, that was a bite and a half. That was not no playing around. That was some serious, serious fish to do what he did. Oop, just fell that tree. No, that's your home. I can't believe how much covers out there. Ooh, there he is. He broke me off. Well, I guess we're taking a dang trip to the car. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm getting beat up. Dang, man. Boys, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> I mean, that was another amazing bite. I will say that that cut on my line is straight clean. There's a possibility that that could have been a mudfish. Let's rig this lizard back up and get back out there. I'm also gonna put on another chatter donk. I was using a white and chartreuse. So I might just put on a black and blue. There's something a little different. I like the black and blue for the water color in this pond anyways. That one I lost at the beginning, I mean, he was just running at me. There wasn't much I could do, but that other bite just didn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't tell you why I lost him. We're gonna rig up a Rage Menace on the back of that Chatter Donk. I've actually became a big fan of the Menace on the back of the Chatter Bait. It just looks really clean, slick, it's not too bulky, and it gets the job done. Boom, just like that. Break them little pinchers. Look how clean that looks. I mean, it's just amazing. It seems to be the best spot on the pond, so we came back to it. And we have at least, what, three or four bites? Somehow didn't land one. <laughs> it's all good. We gotta be patient. There's gotta be more down there. Maybe even some of this fish we missed might, you know, still be willing to bite. Put the right presentation in front of them. Come on, fish. I'm dying out here, man. It is only 110 degrees. Whew. It's like a dang oven out here, boys. Especially when you break off and you get bites like I did earlier and just, there we go. There we go, boys. There we go. Nice one. Nice one, boys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know how big she is, but she's pretty, she's pretty big. Oh, come on now. Oh yeah, that's a good fish, man. Oh, look at that. Look at how hyper these fish are, but they're barely biting. This is just insane to me. Look at that. 
solid three pounder there. Let's freaking go, boys. Oh man, these are the fish that have been biting me. They're pretty good ones, man. These are some pretty good bass. Nice little three pounder, we'll take them. Man, he bit that thing good and he was just fighting like I've never seen before. And I just want you guys to look at how healthy these fish are, just straight brutes out of this pond look how healthy that fish is and this is the end of summer if that tells you anything and you know there's got to be more down there but let's go ahead and release her back that's a great start for us today that's all we needed we just needed to land one of these dang fish boys i mean it was it was getting to the point to where i was dying there i was even telling you all i'm like i'm just hot and i've had the worst luck and god just blessed us with a fish right there so let's get back in the water and see if we can catch one even bigger because i know they're in here she was actually hooked good I'm like that other one that other one i don't know what happened though i'm gonna be honest i couldn't have done anything more than what i did that fish was running right at me <laughs> that was the smartest strategy by a fish i've ever seen let's just run straight towards where i'm hooked looks like that gator don't like to share the pond i got a gator swimming right over here he's gonna be a pain in our butt is what he's gonna be of course he don't come over here until we actually hook a fish right that thing is coming right for us. Get away from me. Stop it. Stop being weird. Get away from me. Huh? Get away. Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Golly, man. I hate doing that, but like, dude, I'm just trying to relax. I'm being weird, man. Oh, you really want to play with me, don't you? Get away. I don't want to deal with you. I got two swords, so you know. I'm a nice guy when it comes to anything with nature. I love nature. I even love gators, but dude, that guy needs to chill. He's a little... He's a little over the top. I mean, I know he's small, but that's almost like aggressive enough to be like, yo, let's take him out of here, you know? I ain't cool, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. You go your way, I'll go mine. You can chill out. Don't be messing with me. What are you doing over there? You trying to get an angle on me? Is that what you're trying to do? That, that ain't gonna work. After messing with this little turd of a gator and fishing for four hours in this 100 degree weather, I decided to go get some lunch and head back out at this pond hours later, but this time, I brought Tara with me. When I came out to this pond in the last episode, I had never fished it before and I only had one bite and it was a double digit. I've been so excited to head back out here, so let's see what we can catch. Uh, I definitely think there's still a decent amount of fish in here. There's probably way up in those trees, you know? That's a nice one. On the old lizard, he is running. He is freaking running so much, boys. Oh, nice little two pounder. We'll take him. Switch from the weight gill to the old lizard. And get popped. There we go. Pretty fish, not big, but we'll take him. Thank you for biting, Bubba. That fish was excited, man. From the bite to like me hook setting, that fish was just. He had a lot of energy. It's a good sign. It's our first bite today. There we go. Oh my God. Come here, Tara. Come here. Quick, quick, quick. They're right there. Reel it up to it. Reel it up to it. Right there. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it. That was a big bite. That was a big fish. Dang, man, I thought I felt one bite me before, though. He was running with it so bad. That was a, that was a bite. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a nice one. Two and a half pounder. <laughs> that bite was so good. All right, buddy, calm down. Look at that, guys. That was a tough bite right there by a fat bass. A little two-pounder. Oh, she was aggressive. 
We got this little bank line right here and a little bit of a couple lay downs down there on the bottom. And uh, you pop it over one of those branches, that fish slapped it. I started to reel my lizard in at one point and it felt like one hit me, but I just couldn't tell. And then about five foot later on the cast, I got thumped and he was running off with it, missed it, and came back and ate it. I want you to feel one of those bites. I got another one. They're, they're right there, they're right there. They're literally right there on that. A little further, but let it sink. <laughs> you see how there's like a little opening back there? I wanted to go over there, but there was a... Oop, Tara, here we go. It's a big one, I think. Oh my God, like a dang four pounder, three and a half. <laughs> Dude, that's a freaking mega. Right in the same spot, boys. Same spot, and this thing needs to calm down. You got a gator coming over here. There we go, boys, look at that thing. Every bit of a chunky three pounder, three and a half. Let's freaking go. This little gator's being pesky. I'm being a pain in my butt. Beautiful fish though, super healthy. Same spot as those other ones. Thank you, baby. 